الحمد لله الحمد لله نستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعه من يطع الله ورسوله فقد رشد ومن يعص الله ورسوله فانه لا يضر الا نفسه ولا يضر الله شيئا اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد عبدك ورسولك وصل على المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات وبارك على محمد وازواجه وذريته وقال الله تعالى في القران المجيد وسارعوا الى مغفره من ربكم وجنه ارضها السماوات والارض اعدت للمتقين وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم نعمتان مغبون فيهما كثير من الناس السحت والفراغ او كما قال عليه الصلاه والسلام respected listeners Imam Shafi rahmatullahi alayhi Hasan Basri rahmatullahi alayhi many other pious predecessors have talked about the time how it cuts us off they said time is like a sword al waqtu sayfun if you don't cut it off it will cut you off our lives we are sitting in the new year january 2019 one year we have spent of our lives forget about one year forget about a day even a breath we cannot bring it back once it's gone it's gone may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our today better than yesterday may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our tomorrow better than today and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the duas that abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala who used to make He used to say this in his every khutbah, at the end of his khutbah. He, oh Allah, make my last days the best days of my life. And make my last actions the best actions of my life. And oh Allah, when I stand before you, make that the best time of my life. This life, respected listeners, is slipping away. We need to remind this constantly because otherwise... our hearts are so engrossed in the material and the worldly life someone needs to remind us and we need to remind others also wa dhakkir fa inna dhikra tanfa'u al-mu'minin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says remind each other because reminder benefits the believers a pious predecessor says i learned an amazing lesson for my life about my life from a person who was selling ice So I saw a man selling ice on the streets and he was yelling out saying oh people buy something which I am selling the, because his ice was melting and he couldn't find the buyers to buy his ice it was a hot day and he was announcing to the people oh people I'm here to sell one of the most precious possessions I have before it melts away Our lives Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us is the most pre- precious possession we have in our hands. May Allah guide us not it to be melted away from from us in our in front of our own eyes. Every morning every evening respected listeners is a trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This time given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us. is a trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to make us prepare for the everlasting life of the hereafter. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Sayyidina Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He was a young companion from Madinat al-Munawwar. He was from the Ansar. He had not even hit his 20 years of age, 21 years of age when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him this question. One morning Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sitting in the Masjid An-Nabawi so the Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala who walks in Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asks him kayfa asbahtu ya Mu'adh how is your morning o Mu'adh 
listen to the response of Ma'az ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala. He says, O Prophet of Allah, I woke up as a believer. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Every statement has a proof. What is the manifestation? What is the truth or verification that you, that you woke up as a believer? So Namaz ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala, see, because the companions of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they were in the company of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what they learned from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the, what they took from this life and what they were expecting in the life of the hereafter, the yaqeen, their conviction was so strong. They would believe in the things they would not see. They would believe in the things more, in the things they would not see than the things they would see in, in front of them. He said, O Prophet of Allah, I woke up as a believer. What is the proof that you woke up as a believer, O Mu'adh? So the Ma'as says, O oh, Prophet of Allah, every morning I wake up, I'm not sure I will live until the night time before death takes me away. Every night I go to sleep, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I'm not sure I will be able to wake up in the morning before death takes me away. O oh, Prophet of Allah, I see all the nations on the day of judgment kneeling in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I see the blessings and, and the bounties and the joys of paradise in front of me, O Prophet of Allah. And I see the torments and the punishments of the hellfire in front of me, O Prophet of Allah. SubhanAllah. What mindset respected listeners? He didn't say, O Prophet of Allah, I need to run to my work. You know, I need to take care of this, this, this. I have a very stressful long day in front of me. He said, I woke up as a believer, O Prophet of Allah. I do not know if death is going to take me away in the daytime or the nighttime. Every step I take, O Prophet of Allah, every step I take, O Prophet of Allah, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to take another step before death comes and takes me away. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam heard this from a young man, he says, O Ma'az, O Ma'az, you have spoken to the truth. You stick to this belief, O oh, Ma'az. You stick to this. The Sahaba, the companions, used to say about Ma'az ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ma'az was like an ummat for us. He was like an entire nation for us. He was Hanifan. This time, respected listeners, this time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Everyone, all of us, Allah is saying this. All of us are in a state of loss. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears in two surahs. Well, as everybody's in a state of loss. Then Allah says, وَالتِّينِ وَالزَّيْتُونِ وَتُورِ سِينِينَ وَهَذَا الْبَلَدِ الْأَمِينَ لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِينَ ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ Allah swears by the figs and the olives, produce of Jerusalem, Baytul Maqdas. Allah swears on Mount Sinai. Allah swears by the city of Makkah al Mukarramah, the city where Rasulullah received revelations. Mount Sinai, Musa alayhi salam received revelations. Jerusalem, many prophets came to that land. Allah is swearing by three places and He says, Lakhad khalaqnal insana fi ahsani taqween. We created human beings in the best of the moods, in the best of the fashions, and then, Thumma radadanahu asfala safileen. We reduced him, we reduced them to the lowest of the low. We reduced them to the lowest of the low. The ulama say about this verse, ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ When the animals get old, even then still they're beneficial to the mankind. They still carry the loads of the mankind. They're ready to be slaughtered, to be eaten by the mankind. Their furs are being used for the mankind. But human beings, when they become old and senile and decrepit, they become useless. They become burden on other people. And may Allah save us from becoming burden on the other people. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَأَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ In both the surahs, Allah says, human being is in a continuous perpetual state of loss. Except those who do good deeds, those who have iman and those who good deeds. Now a person doing good deeds, when Allah has given him or her time in the youth, in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s, even in their 60s, when they keep doing good deeds, the meaning of the words, 
Allah, the, the scholars say the meaning of the words Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will write them perpetual continuous rewards even when they become old and senile even when they become dependent on others for those pious people when pious people become old and senile Allah will not make them dependent on others in their old age because even in their old age even in the very old age, people are benefiting from their spirituality. People are serving them. People are doing their khidmat. People are taking their du'as. And people are benefiting by their spirituality. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only writing rewards from them on the hereafter. Allah says we, were, they are, we are writing everlasting rewards for them. The rewards start from this world. Even when they become old. Even when they become sick. If they were praying their salat. If they were reciting Quran, if they were doing zikr, if they were maintaining their good akhlaq, good character, Allah will tell angels to keep on writing these good rewards even when they are sick, even when they are old, even when they do not perform. Keep writing them the rewards. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulihi al-kareem amma ba'd. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this life, for creating us in the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And above all, for giving us this time. Allah has blessed us with time and there are special moments which are special to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like the day of Jum'ah is very precious in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are certain time in, on, on the day of Jum'ah, Rasulullah said that du'as are accepted. And the ulama are unanimous. The four imams, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam, Imam Shafi, Imam Malik, are unanimous. The time that Allah accepts the du'as, فَلْتَمِسُهَا سَعَةً بَعْدَ الْأَسْرِ The moment, the time Allah accepts the du'as on the day of Jum'ah, they said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, is the time between Asr and Maghrib. And the ulama have deduced from this that even the exact time when the du'as are accepted are just a few minutes, those moments before the sun sets on the day of Friday evening. That's when our du'as are accepted. Those are the times we need to take advantage. We we'll make our family sit with us, make our kids. Let's make du'a. This is the time of acceptance of du'as. Little we do, respected listeners, the specialty of this Ummat of Rasulullah, Allah rewards the Lord. Man qara'a suratul kahf, yawmul jum'ah, fahuwa ma'asumun ila thamanati ayyamin, min kulli fitna, inna kharaja dajjal, usima min aw kama qal. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever recites suratul kahf in the 15th Jews and part of 16th Jews, Whosoever recites Surah Al-Kahf on Jum'ah, Ibn Kathir rahmatullah alayhi quotes this from Ali radiallahu ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whoever recites Surah Al-Kahf on Friday, Allah will save him or her from the trials and tribulations until the next eight days, until the next Jum'ah. Even if Dajjal comes during those eight days, Allah will save them from the fitna and trials of Dajjal. Imagine the trials of Dajjal. All the prophets took refuge. And the trials we are going through are nothing compared to the trials of the Jal. But the promise of Allah, whoever takes time out to recite Surah Al-Kahf on Friday, Allah will save them from all kinds of trials and tribulations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us value the time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us prepare for, for, for our death. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us prepare for the everlasting life of the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatum wa fi al-akhirati hasanatum wa fina azab al-nar. Rabbana la tuzikulubana ba'ada idhadaytana wa hablana min ladun ka rahma. Inna ka anta al-wahhab. Ibad Allah. Inna Allah ya'amur bil adli wal ihsan. Wa ita aydi al-qurba. Wa yanhani al-fahshai wa al-munkari wa al-baghi. Ya'idhukum la'allakum tazakkaroon. Fazkaroon i azkurkum. Wa shkuru li wa la takfuroon. Wa aqimis sarun.